Welcome to my channel. So today is on Sunday and I decided to take a walk just around my place, around my village. So our friends now in city. And uh, I'm with my friends just walking around and having fun. <laughs> is that the place has been prepared uh, for activities because you can see roads and uh, like on this side there is an industrial park here what on this maybe it's the concrete it's manufacturing concrete and on this okay what uh, be beyond today we usually do biking and skating on this road and then Please make sure you move from where you live. <laughs> you move to Tatu City or OJ. So on this side, I think it's a new project coming up because I didn't know there was something here. The last time I came, it's a new project coming up. Definitely. What is it?
Manyuki is a it's a it's a it's a it's a Maasai name. Oh, what does it mean? It means uh, I'm going to research about that name. <laughs> but if you ask me about Nairobi, I, I believe you know why Nairobi, Nairobi means. Nairobi means cool. Yes, 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 yes. Uh-huh. So guys, we are. Uh, this is a kapach that is, that is leading to a maram road. It's maram or tamak. It's a, a tamak, tamak road. Tamak road. Mm. So it's a. Uh, okay, on this it's, it's, it's more adventurous, right? Because there, are, there, is, there is forest all over. And, uh, but it's it, it's actually a place that is endangered because this place is being developed. And uh, in a few, few a few months years. to come, the, the the forest might not even be there. So I love nature. If you listen, you can hear birds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On this side there is forest. On this side there is forest. What about the the wild fruits? Because I can see your oh, your colleague here is having one. some, is eating yeah, some things. Mm-hmm. You know this actually this mm-hmm. these things have the black ones are the sweet ones. You see when what do you call them in your language? I don't know. So in our yes, language, how long have you lived in Tatu? I have lived in Tatu since 2020 March. What what are you doing in Tatu? I'm doing actually doing business. Mm-hmm. And living. I actually bought a land, so I just to near <laughs> my property. Near my property <laughs> because I have a plan. I have uh, a future plan. Uh-huh. plan. Uh-huh. I'm thinking of uh, having a, a company, an industry, just a company. Uh-huh. Yes. So, uh, in the years that you've lived in Tatu, what major changes have you seen? Wow. Companies, companies like this, they in and out. Mm-hmm. And like uh, 2020, I think we have we had two companies mm-hmm. in the industry, but now we can see they are new. Mm-hmm. And still, the others coming in, you can see they are construction there. So, this is the best time mm-hmm. for us investors. We should invest. Best. 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 Mm-hmm. Tattoo City is the best place. Yeah. Get a land here. Mm-hmm. Get a business. Get a business here. Mm-hmm. This is a city that is a future. Mm-hmm. So this is the right time. Mm-hmm. The best. Mm-hmm. Come as a group. Come, come as an individual. Mm-hmm. Get a land. Mm-hmm. And start a business. So hi Debs. Hello. So when did you come to Tattoo City first? Mm-hmm. My first time was in December 22nd. 2021. 2021. Yes. So what what did you notice about Tatu that was different from other places? Okay, Tatu City is an upcoming city, mm-hmm. an industrial area. Mm-hmm. So it's still developing mm-hmm. But it's a nice place to take a walk, mm-hmm. go chill, have some nice time. <laughs> so guys, guys beyond Tatu. You you've heard the story of Mungai Eve and Manzi Wakibera, have you? Have you heard it? Uh, so if you haven't, apparently people are saying Manzi Wakibera lives in in a Madare. Is it Madare or yeah? Ni Madare. In a slum area, and people are saying that Mungai Eve should actually do something for Manzi Wakibera. What do you think? Personally, I don't think they are entitled to being helped. Mm. Is entitled to be helped by because mm-hmm. the same thing Ngai Eve was saying that she gave Manzuakibera a platform. Mm-hmm. She Manzuakibera Manzo Kibera was focused on being successful in her. Mm-hmm. She should have used that opportunity. Mm-hmm. Open a YouTube channel and make content and get paid. But she decided she's going to stay in her home, mm-hmm. in her place, ask Kenyans to, to changa for her. 
Mwanga for us mm-hmm. without being that in class before we had seen that ceremony we took it Well, so that is to wake up. <laughs> and, and and recently, yeah, and work hard. So recently, Munga even uh, Trevor said that Manzwa Kibera is actually cheating. She doesn't stay at the slums. She has a secret place that she stays. And uh, she's using that chance to ask for uh, sympathy and contributions. What do you say about that? Mm. You know, there are two sides of this story. There is the travel and the story, mm-hmm. and there is the Manziwa Kibera manager story. Mm. So, the Manziwa Kibera's manager says, Manziwa Kibera is the mm-hmm. Plus, I'm beginning to believe her because. There was a time Nicholas Kioko mm. came to her place and she, she knows the neighbors very well. If yeah. she was not staying there, maybe she would not have been there. Okay. Yeah. So Kevin, mm-hmm. what can you say about that? What 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 you can say? Okay, I've not followed uh, the story. Mm-hmm. But I can't lack something to say about it. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> you know, mm. uh, b- b- being uh, successful or living the life that you you are happy about it. Mm. Uh, you don't care about uh, what other people say. Mm. If Manziwa Kibera mm. uh, she has come out, you're saying she she, she, she she won't help. Yeah. No, she uh, actually Nicholas Kio, you know Nicholas Kioko. Mm-hmm. No. He he visited uh, Manzwa Kibera and actually discovered Manzwa Kibera mm-hmm. lives in a slum area, and people were were laughing mm-hmm. at her that she stays like a bird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so famous, and <laughs> famous and broke. Famous and broke. So Manzwa Kibera was a bit uh, emotional, mm-hmm. and she cried about it, mm-hmm. and. Uh, fans went on to the comment section to say that Munga Eve shouldn't have left Manziwa Kibera mm-hmm. to see mom Ish <laughs> shouldn't have left Manziwa Kibera to stay in such a condition. You know, uh, what I can say about these people, they are, they are, they are shooting a sto- uh, the story about her. Mm-hmm. They should mentor her. Mm-hmm. They have been in the, in the industry for quite some time. Mm-hmm. So instead of using this story maybe to gain from it, they should mentor her, they should show her direction, they should show her how she can start a YouTube channel. Yeah. She can use the her followers to gain at least uh, some some uh, some, uh, some lifestyle, but not use her story to seek sympathy. Yes. So do you think up to now they have not mentored her or what do you mean by mentoring? Mentoring is uh, if you know something mm-hmm. and you believe you can uh, share with somebody or show her how she can do it. Do it. Rather than going out to the public and sharing her story, uh, exposing her lifestyle, uh, they should show her how. If she fe- they feel that she, she did not utilize uh, or recommend is a, a chance mm-hmm. and uh, In Mungai a is chance, mm-hmm. so they should at least uh, assist her. And uh, show her the way. Personally, what I really feel about this story is that uh, I can use the example of Safaraga the Miti. Safaraga the Miti, I, I knew him first on Mungai Ibs channel. And uh, since that time up to now, Safaraga the Miti has really grown. He has used his uh, channel to inspire more people and to make money. So, why doesn't uh, Manzwak better also use the same? The same, the same way so that is my thought and uh, I feel like I feel like Manzo Kibera is lazy she should uh, pull up her socks and work 